So this is the San Diego Botanical Gardens. This is the ceremony setup that they have. On this video, I'm gonna give you two completely different wedding setups so you can get an idea of different ways you can do this particular venue. But this is, the ceremony is pretty standard. Uh, this is where they'll have it. It's at the top above the main reception area. There is an optional cocktail area to the side, which I'll show you in the second video. They did not do that on this one, but guests will come in from the left, take their seats as they wish. And this is where the main ceremony is nice and secluded. So even though the park can be open, once the ceremony starts, you really never notice anybody, any guests walking around that aren't part of the wedding. Uh, the back there, there's a getting ready room for the wedding party. And you'll typically do the processional down from there as well into the ceremony. You'll see the musician in the back on the right. If I was DJing, uh, I would set my system up there as well. But that walkthrough at the back there is also the way you would get to the alternative cocktail area, which they did not use in this wedding. So uh, when the ceremony was over, they came out, walked down this pathway to the bottom of that little hill. And on the left is where the reception area was. That little caravan type thing was a food truck they had for the day, which was pretty awesome. So again, this is the walk from the ceremony to the main reception area. And this is how the setup was. Uh, you'll notice in the second video, it wasn't quite as good in my opinion, because there the speakers are right on the dance floor and there's not a lot of tables of guests in the way. On the second one, you'll see they set it up differently against my recommendation, but what can you do? So you'll see they had the food truck there, as I said, a couple of bars around where the black tables are, that little area at the back there, the little bodega thing is where they had the cake, right at the back there, another bar on the right. This is just panning around from the opposite side. You'll see they had the market lighting set up all around. It's a really nice outdoor venue. And uh, they do have strict noise restrictions, but um, if you don't pump the bass and don't talk on the mic, it's, it's fine, absolutely fine. Use a DJ that knows what they're doing and doesn't just want to make it as loud as possible while still being effective, as they say. So one more pan around. Once again, there's the food truck. San Diego Botanical Gardens, and there's the bar, number one. Now, we're gonna to go to the second video I did, a different setup, but the ceremony's in the same place. As you can see, pretty much set up the same. Slightly wider angle coming in, it's a few less guests, I guess, but uh, I set up on the right-hand side there. And just panning around from the altar area, looking back, there are all the chairs. There's the getting ready room at the back, and this is where they would do the processional straight down there, as you can see. Guests would come in from the right side. Now, you do have an option at this particular venue to do a cocktail hour uh, on the left side of this, which we're going to show you in a second. So this is where you would walk out from the ceremony area, and this is where the alternative cocktail area is. They have that. It, it doesn't look like much here when it's not set up. But believe me, when it's all done up and they, they put some decorations and everything around, this is really, really nice. This is like immediately to the side of the ceremony area, kind of above the reception area, like halfway down, but just off to the side. And you would walk down that pathway there to get to the reception. But imagine this where your cocktail area is. It's nice and secluded and you're not bothered with all the tables and everybody can mingle nicely. So I do like this particular setup for that. Again, this is the walkway you would come out from the ceremony if you were going down to the main reception. And this is how they had the ceremony reception set up. Uh, as you'll see from the first video, the dance floor was right near the DJ. On this particular one, they had tables surrounding it, which is never ideal for the comfort of the guests. You want to try and avoid, in my opinion, having tables of guests between the speakers and the dance floor so it doesn't get too loud for the guests sitting at those tables. But it worked out okay on this particular night because there was a lot of young people at that table, which works out fine. And then as before, it's a very similar setup once you get to it. It's just set up in a different way with the, the decorations and the florals and everything. And they actually did the cake outside of that bodega. They put a photo booth in that bodega this particular time. The bar is still there on the right, but you can see them setting up the cake right there. A little bit dangerous setting up outside, I thought, but not my wedding. There's the cake there. And one more pan around. So there you are, a couple of different options of how you can set up for weddings at the San Diego Botanical Gardens. Make sure your vendors have worked there before is my recommendations because there are a lot of strict rules you have to make sure you can go by and not a lot of people know them if they haven't worked there.